So are you telling me that every brand new iPhone in Zimbabwe is not in fact brand new? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Master, the Zimtech guy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you like the work that I do on this channel, please consider partnering with me on Patreon, like these rockstar Patreons. I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's get into it. According to a Twitter user named Ngoni Zashe, all brand new iPhones that are being sold in the country at the moment, regardless where you're buying one, if they come from Dubai, they're in fact not brand new. Now, at first I thought, you know, maybe this guy was just hating on uh, iPhone users, but I figured out that the guy is based in Dubai and in fact, he's actually in the business of bringing iPhones to Zimbabwe. And he's saying all the iPhones that he brings, it's either refurbished or new. Now, if you scowl through maybe Facebook marketplace or uh, if you're going to shops into town, they actually sell phones from Dubai saying that these phones are brand new when they're in fact refurbished. Now, I know you're probably going like, uh, you can always check the model number and if it is an M, which means it's original. And if it, if it is an F, which means it's refurbished, right? But according to Ngoni Zashe, these people who are refurbishing these things are actually getting more technical. So if you get a refurbished iPhone and they just uh, maybe replace the speaker or something or the battery, there's no way of you knowing that it has been replaced. Even at times when that uh, message pops up, you know, that shows that the hardware has been changed, people are getting around that, you know, new technologies are coming that can bypass all those things. So you really do not know if you're actually getting value for your money. Now, there's also a case to talk about, maybe on the side of us, the, uh, the consumers as well. Maybe we need to do uh, more research because it turns out if you're going to get, let's say, an iPhone 11, boxed in Zimbabwe. You can get it boxed and brand new in Zimbabwe. You get it for $400. So if a brand new iPhone 11 is going for around $499 on eBay before shipping costs and duties kick in, which means if you're going to be selling it here in the country, it should probably go around $800. But if you're getting it for $400 when shipping and duties already included, chances are that phone is not brand new. Now, that is not to say that all iPhones being sold in the country at the moment are not in fact brand new. If you go to um, telecoms uh, service providers like Econet and NetOne, they are selling brand new iPhones there, but obviously the price will, will, will remind you that these are brand new iPhones that you, you want to purchase. Now, there are also other individual sellers as well who sell genuine iPhones. But the ones that are raising eyebrows are the ones that are coming from Dubai. Not sure if uh, the ones that are coming from the UK and other countries are also refurbished, but according to him, the ones that are coming from Dubai, he's more knowledgeable about that market, are only refurbished or used. So probably the best way to go about it uh, is maybe getting a used iPhone if it is a good price, if you've imported it yourself. Because chances are, if it is a used iPhone, on the Zimbabwe market, he probably bought it, refurbished, used it, and s sold it to you. According to Ngoni himself, you're he saying you know that uh, a phone is refurbished mostly if you're charging your iPhone and it starts heating up. And according to him as well, um, on, on, on his Twitter post, this is what he said. He said, uh, these iPhones have been repaired. Most of its original components were replaced by counterfeit ones. Replaced components are always not original. These include covers, camera, and battery. They come in new boxes so that they look brand new with new accessories which are not original too, i.e. earphones, charger for resale. Battery health is usually 100% but will quickly degrade within the short period of time. Now I've bumped into several people who've had uh, these sort of issues where they get a brand new iPhone and within a month or two the battery health is degraded maybe to even 86-85% but this is a brand new phone. And then we contrast that with uh, somebody who bought genuine iPhones, uh, maybe from Canada and stuff. And you look at the battery health, it's like it stays intact for a very long period of time. So this is the situation that we have. If you're going to be getting a brand new iPhone, ideally 
it's going to cost you a lot of money that is not to say refurbished uh, phones or used phones are bad but the sellers should be you know genuine about it they should just specify whether they're selling a brand new iphone or a refurbished one i don't know what do you guys think about this situation oh you know uh, people gotta do what they gotta do to survive but i think you need to tell people the truth so that they know exactly what they're buying right if you have uh, any comment regarding this issue please leave it down in the comment section below um otherwise see you in the next video